News from where you live. All right, welcome back. Let's head over to the weather wall where Lisa Montgomery is awaiting our arrival. Lisa, very chilly out there this morning. I just got, I just got an email from a viewer. Uh oh. And I'm gonna have to call you out, ma'am, just because oh. that's just how I am. But I love you. She was wondering why we didn't talk about whether or not Purdue won yesterday. Why what? Whether why whether or not Purdue won yesterday. Oh, because it's just too hard to talk about. I would say. Wonder if she knows the score. <laughs> it's cold out there this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Marvin. It's cold out it's there this cold morning. Out there. The weather yesterday was not good at all. Windy. I was too busy trying to stay planted to the ground, let alone. Right. But yeah. yeah. Well, look, look, we've got we've got better days on the horizon. We do. I'm telling you, from here on out, we are looking fantastic. So let's focus on that. We've got plenty of sunshine for today. In fact, we've got a beautiful sunrise. A few uh, high thin thinner clouds around the area, but we do have mostly clear skies. We're looking downtown. You can see we've got all clear skies there and uh, that's tower cam here at the station. So we're looking good. Just a beautiful day for us. It is cool, though. Yesterday this time we were around 60, 50, 60 degrees, 55. Right now, it is in the 40s, so a big difference, a big change for us. You need a jacket this morning, 45, but we do have the mostly sunny skies. At the Purdue Airport, dew point is at 40. The winds are calm this hour, so nice and quiet for us this morning, but a little on the cool side, we will see those winds pick up later this afternoon. Not like yesterday, but we are looking at some gusts as high as 30 miles an hour possible. Temperatures right now, everybody in the 40s. We got 46 in Rochester already, 42 in Crawfordsville, Lafayette 45, Monticello 45, 43 in Fowler. Good day to get out there today. Get the doggy outside. Enjoy. Get that walk in. We're looking at 60 degrees by noontime with mostly sunny skies and we'll reach our daytime high around three o'clock with 64. And believe it or not, this is 10 degrees above average. We should typically be around 54 degrees now. So this is looking good. It's going to be breezy, but at least we do have some mild air in place. We've got clouds rolling across the area. They're the higher, thinner type clouds that will be pushing out. We do expect to see mostly sunny skies. A quiet day. It's going to be a quiet week for us coming up. All the rain you see in the upper Midwest, you can see it's kind of fizzling out as it tracks off to the northeast. This is all the rain we had yesterday, so it looks like we're going to stay dry. A nice weather pattern for us for all this week. Enjoy because we've got some very cold air moving in for next week. The winds you can see already by three o'clock. We're looking at those uh, wind gusts up to 25 to 30 miles an hour. So again, it will be on the breezy side. Those winds will calm down for tonight and then we're looking at a fantastic work week. We've got quiet conditions, but we've got that south southwest wind. That's what's going to keep us mild, but also breezy. And then we are looking at for Monday. Our winds are going to shift a little bit cooler for us, but still quite still dry as far as uh, no precipitation. We're going to stay sunny for much of the upcoming week. It's looking fantastic. We've got Election Day Tuesday. Get out there and vote. We've got Veterans Day on Friday. So we're looking good here. Breezy today, 64 with mostly sunny skies. A little bit cooler tomorrow, 58 with the sunshine. Tuesday, Election Day, 60. A beautiful day to get out and vote. 69, so near 70 on Wednesday. The same for Thursday. Fantastic. And then Friday, we do have a chance for some rain around, and that's really going to cool us off by next weekend. Saturday's high only 40 degrees, Marvin, 40 degrees. That's it. All right. I'm not looking forward to it, Lisa. Thank you. NBA star Kyrie Irving is being punished for supporting an anti-Semitic film and refusing to disavow anti-Semitism. His team, the Brooklyn Nets, suspended him for at least five games without pay and said he must